Um, when I first came here, it was, uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of customers at that time. And I was curious as to where it was going to go. And we were working both, you know, I'd work on the machines, we'd work in the office. There was one point where, uh, you know, we'd work in the office from early in the morning till late at night, five o'clock, we'd run out on the floor, run machines till midnight. So we started hiring people. Mike put together a good group of people. I started seeing that what they were capable of, and then I realized we really do have something good here. It's, it's gonna go somewhere. I'm the sales director. Currently, through the years, I've had many positions. Uh, in the old days, we had to wear a lot of hats, so you know, you'd be operating machines, you'd be unloading trucks, you'd be cleaning parts, you'd be inspecting parts, you'd be doing purchasing, quoting. You wore a lot of hats. My father was a plant superintendent of a dental firm, so we, growing up, we knew drills, taps, dyes, lathes, equipment. So I had that knowledge behind me. Well, there's a few things that set us apart, I think. Uh, one, you have to listen to your customer. You have to understand their needs. Two, we try to partner with every customer we have. Now, there's many companies out there that uh, you know, companies and vendors that claim they have a partnership, but a lot of times it's one-sided. You know, to have a true partnership, there has to be transparency. You know, you have to work together towards uh, DFM, Design for Manufacturability. So you want to get in the early stages of a product, it's easy to make changes to that product for manufacturability. Customers appreciate that. If you can get a customer to do that with you, better for him, better for us. And lastly, we have to deliver our products on time with quality. Yeah, I can give you a good example of that process. That years ago, we had just landed an account that was a rotary toothbrush. We made parts for that. Um, we started making big quantities, and all of a sudden the customer called us and said, these parts aren't working. They're just, the, part, the unit isn't functioning. So we took a pause, and checked the parts and we came back to them and said, well, the parts are intolerance. We don't know what to do. We'll turn off the machines until we can figure this out. Well, the very next day, he was on our doorstep. And he came into us and he explained, listen, I bought this company overseas. I brought it to the US. I'm having nothing but nightmares. I don't know what's wrong. So he laid all the blueprints out on us. We looked at them, we went over them. The tolerancing was wrong. The press fits were wrong. Everything was wrong, and this customer was in a panic. So over the next few days, we redesigned everything. We worked with his other vendors, the injection molders and other people, so that we were all integrated and on the same page. And within a week, we were giving him good parts and he had a functioning unit. Well, given that we're in a new building now, we have tons of space, so that gives us the opportunity to go into different technologies and expand our processes. Um, we've already made plans and obviously um, we've got the second generation of management already in place and operating. So I think that's important and customers look for that. They wanna know what's your plan, what's your succession plan. So I think the future looks really bright for SPM.